Happy Halloween, everyone! Or at least it'll be Halloween when this goes up. Welcome to Let's Play Knock Knock, a new horror game from Ice Pick Lodge, developer that I am very fond of. Before we get into the game, there's a bit of a meta story which is explained right here. What do you see before you is not exactly what one would call a game. It's more like an interactive meditation, reenacted from scattered evidence that happened to fall into our hands. Many strange things and unclear moments you will encounter in this, whatever it is, are due to the requirements outlined in the archive. Maybe it was just a mysterious hoax, but it probably wasn't. We suggest you view it as just another urban legend. And this meta story about the development of the game really does read like an urban legend or a ghost story that you tell around a campfire or something, and we'll go ahead and start a new game. I played about 10 seconds or so just to make sure everything ran properly. I want so badly to believe that that story is true and not just a clever framing device or a fun tall tale or something. But one way or another, welcome to Knock Knock. That sets one hell of a tone. So he's mumbling at us incoherently. I know just... I know about this game just what was on the Kickstarter website. So I know that it's based around hide and seek and you're going around the house doing maintenance. Trying to prevent things from coming in and the ultimate goal for each night, each night representing a level, is to reach the dawn of the next day. Jesus Christ, that already spooked me. And I can zoom out and I can look at all the rooms. Every time you wake up, the layout of the house is randomized. It looks like I got a pretty straightforward layout for my first dice roll. We're off to a really creepy start so far. Let's see, press B or up. Ah, oh, I can move time forward faster this way. Let's see, we can turn the lights on, we fix the lights on both the doors, assuming to make it easier to run from monsters. Oh, I don't want to go out there. Oh, shit. I don't like the looks. I really don't like the looks of this. The, these trees look demonic, like they're about to come to life. Oh, this mechanic is a little bit like uh, the one in the... Walking Dead expansion, the 400 days one. Is this... are these the levels? And yeah, it doesn't look like all of this has taken place just inside the lodger's head. Is this a new day? Dawn of a new day. Oh, I can turn the lights off and hide. 
Oh, uh, we're about to get into some shit. It's the noise. It's the clock ticking. I'm finally awake now. But as usual, in the early hours of the morning, it'll be sunrise soon. And for now, I'll just check if everything's alright. I dreamt that the front door was unlocked. Someone was knocking. I had to get up and look. Then I regained consciousness in the forest and I could hardly find my way back. What's that? Wait, what was that icon? Oh, shit. I have to unbolt the door, and that takes time. I'm foreseeing a situation in which I'm gonna get trapped. Oh, and all this all this stuff takes time to fix. Yeah. What am I- like, am I gonna come back and find the doors locked and I can't get back to the bed to hide? Yeah. I don't even recognize my own home. Why does it look so empty? It's probably just my eyes going bad. My eyesight's getting worse and worse after dark. You should go to an optometrist, buddy. It doesn't matter, I only have to wait a little bit longer. Soon it'll be daybreak. Soon, soon is a long ways away. Can I not unlock this? I'm not getting the UI thing. Let's keep trying at it. For now. Oh, okay. That worked. It's that's a really good creaky door noise. Getting pretty close to daylight, though. Okay. I don't know if I want to go down here. Wait and watch. Wait and watch for what? Oh. Everything's in its place. I can see it clearly. Did I have to wait for my eyes to adjust? Something's wrong with my head. I'm so half asleep. It smells like damp earth. The premise for this is really brilliant. Setting the question up of whether or not these are like hallucinations from a lack of sleep. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, there's something down there. Turned out to be nothing. Daybreak is very close now. I just have to survive until dawn. I, I'm like five minutes into this and this is just absorbing. I don't... Mm, mm, I don't feel like I should be down here, especially not in the dark to repair- <gasps> Ooh! Oh god, what was that? What the fuck was that? My nightly rounds, it's vital to turn the light on each room for a little while. It's the only way to put everything back in order. This is so absorbing and it's so effective and it's so intense. I love you, Ice Pick Lodge. I love you so much. That didn't seem too important. Um, please unbolt this faster. Uh, whatever drew my vision there the first time I think was either in this room or the sub basement right below me. Oh shit, it's upstairs. How are they getting in? I don't even know what it is, but I'm still worried about it. Fuck. My only escape route is, um, is right down below me now. I hear- oh! Air pounding on the door. What is all of this stuff? Can it see me if the lights are off? What's the point of the light being on? Shit. Shit. Is it on the other side of the door? The light's out in the room. God, I have to- I have to find some way out of here. I don't know if I should be unlocking this door. Is it keeping- is the locked door keeping whatever's out there out? Oh, sh- God. Looks like everything is okay right now. I think? Not really sure. Oh, God damn it! I didn't mean to go up here. Oh! I have to hide. I don't know why, but I have to hide now. That's a little urgent. Um, is there anywhere to hide? Am I sure I have to hide right now? Uh, where do I hide, though? Because I don't really have anywhere to escape to once I start hiding. Okay, so let's see what hiding does. Oh, my timer. Oh, time starts going backwards when I hide. No, no, don't hide, Lodger. That's a really bad idea. Okay, I'm going back downstairs. Fuck, I'm not going up there. Definitely not. Not a chance in hell. 
You know what makes this even more effect? Who is that? Oh my god. Uh, all of this is freaking me the f Oh! About it. And right then, it was inside. Why can't you run? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, you. Please stop talking to me, creepy little girl. Woo. I'm gonna be in here, ready to hide, just in case. I think I might just barely outlast whatever was down there, though. It looked like just a pair of mannequin legs or something. It knows where you are. It knows where I am? Wait there. So, well then, what would be the point of hiding? Okay, it's morning. Hide and seek in the dark. This is a test of courage, so you shouldn't really hide when you play. Just try to pl just try to play fair and wait for the game to end. If the seeker sees that someone is hiding, everything will start from the beginning again. The key is you have to guess how the seeker interprets the game. So if he says to someone, you're hiding, but the person is standing in the open, then it's not about being seen or not. What? That's really confusing. The whole, I know that the, the whole premise of the game is modeled after hide and seek, but... I'm not sure what those directions exactly are supposed to be telling me. Is this... Yeah, and the layout of the house is randomized every time you wake up. Oh, is there some... Why did the light turn on? In general, it's best for the psyche to sleep soundly in the pre-dawn hours, but lately I've been awake and restless. So I decided to spend these hours checking on my house. Let's see if all, let's see if all the rooms are still where they should be. Yeah, they're not. There's eyeballs and skulls all over the house. Is an observatory. It's an old science station. I've lived here since I was born. And yet you don't remember the layout too well, do you? This is what insomnia does to you. I want to think about the past. It's less troubling to live in the dark. That sounds remarkably like the, um... The killing joke monologue. Madness is the emergency exit. Oh, why did I come down here? This room is just a big claustrophobic trap. I'm a worldologist. That's my profession. I inherited it. So you're just mumbling bullshit? We, the worldologists, watch the world, study... So we write down these findings and analyze them. At some point, these notes could be used for scientific research. Yeah, I think he's just muttering... incoherent... Stop slamming that door. Stop banging on it. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis just Wu Tang, I muttered, rapping at my chamber door. Wu Tang is for the children and nothing more. One of my predecessors added something to this house, but the past is not very valuable, which is why many rooms are locked. I never look in there. This looks like tally marks all over the wall and handprints. Oh, what are that? What is all of this about? Oh, shit! Stop doing that to me. Okay, there's a noose up there. Oh, and it's right next to the stool. Someone hung themselves. This place is haunted as shit. Oh, turn time forward. Get this done quicker. Thank goodness, the morning's getting nearer. That's open now? Oh my... I have to shut the door. Can I shut the door? It's so repetitive anyway, my state of mind suits me just fine the way it is right now. Okay. No, where could it... Where could it possibly be? 
I have to shut it. I didn't open this door. No one's alive out there. Who could have snuck in? No one who's mind. The only path here is the one that goes around my house. Right now I can go check that there aren't any new ones. Okay, I'm venturing back out into the forest. Okay. This this isn't too bad, even though it looks horrifying. And everything looks hostile out here. I'm... that's fine. Okay, that's gonna move me on to the next part of the level. And that's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.